Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize. You are seeing me a lot today in this outfit. That is because, as always, on my channel, when I have time to film, I take advantage of it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this is my next to last video in the Stash Showcase Showdown series. Like I said in my brushes video, which I don't know which one will be up yet before this one or after this one. Um, I'm trying to get these last three filmed, put out for you guys, get this series wrapped up um, so I can move on to something else. If you have any comments or any ideas, something you'd like to see, please comment down below, let me know. So let's just jump on into it. This is my lip video. Um, I'm going to start off with, I'm just going to start off with regular lipsticks. Um, my newest obsession is the Essence lipsticks. I have the shade 6 Barely There and 5 Cool Nude. 6 Barely There is just a beautiful everyday shade. Just absolutely gorgeous, mauve throw it on right up my alley. And number five, Cool Nude. It's a little bit lighter version of that, but as you can see in the swatches, they are very moisturizing, very creamy, and I love them. And they're like $2.99, $1.99 Ulta. Love them. Then my number one nude lipstick that I have ever found, ever wore, and anytime I want a nude lipstick, I reach for this. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche, yes, in 800 Fairest Nude. Absolutely love this color, although it is not like the concealer nude that you usually see. It is a more nudey color. I don't, it's not, it's picking up a little bit more pink. But on my skin tone, especially where I'm tan, even when I'm fair, um, this is a really pretty new color. It's a little bit lighter than either of these. I just, and the formula is so stinking good. Um, for a regular lipstick, it lasts a pretty decent time on me. You know, regular lipsticks, you just know going into it, you're going to have to reapply them throughout the day. Um, so I know that, and it doesn't upset me when it comes off. But surprisingly, this one lasts... A pretty good while on me. Next is the ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is the only ColourPop Lippy Stick I own. I don't know what is wrong with me. Do not judge me. Do not hate me. I plan on getting more. It's just I have this list of makeup <laughs> that I want to get that is 900 miles long and I can't buy it all. And this, so I plan on getting more. But this is the shade Tootsie and it is a matte. Um, formula. There it is right there. And the reason why I did not put this, I have matte lipsticks that I want to talk about, but the reason why I didn't put this in the matte category is because this doesn't feel matte ever. You put it on your lips and all day long it is matte, but it's that normal creamy lipstick feeling on your lips. There is no drying whatsoever and I absolutely love it and they smell like cookies oh my gosh I love it next one is the elf moisturizing lipstick this is in the shade southern bell I just recently got this and this is a very pretty pink like straight up pink no mauve to it whatsoever even though it's looking like it on camera this is way more pink than it is mauve is that the one? Yeah, okay. Um, it, these are so creamy and rich, and they last a decent long time on me, too. But um, I just did an e.l.f. haul with this. Absolutely love this color, especially for spring and summer. It is just going to be that really pretty pink. Beautiful. The next one is the Burt's Bees Russet River Lip Balm. It's a lipstick with lip balm properties. 
Although it is not full on 100% color, it is definitely more sheer. It does give you color like a lipstick and this is so moisturizing. So it feels so good on your lips and it has that Burt's Bees lip tingling, not overpowering like some buxom lip gloss or something like that, which those are not overpowering either because I have one to mention, but it does have that chapstick lip balm feeling to it. Absolutely love this. I want more colors. I was pleasantly surprised with the color payoff off of this. And again, this is Russet Ripper. And then the next regular lipstick is the Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is what I have on today. This is Nuevo Pink. So pretty, so creamy, very fuchsia. But for 99 cents, it's the one on the left, it's the end here. 99 cents, 98 cents, I mean, for real? I've had this on for a good 30 minutes and it's not fading, it's not crawling out anywhere. Go get you some wet and wild lipsticks. I have several of them back here in my collection. This is just the one I chose to wear to match my shirt today, but I have several of them back here in my collection and I absolutely love them. For a dollar, come on, yes. Um, let me wipe these off so I can swatch some more. Um, matte lipsticks is what I'm going to talk about next. My number one is the NYX. Let me tell you something. Out of all the matte lipsticks I have, matte liquid lipsticks, NYX blows it out of the water. And um, this is the Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. This is a moussey type uh, formulation. There it is, soft, smoke, soft spoken. Absolutely love this because it is a matte liquid lipstick, but it does not leave me feeling cakey, peely, crackly, crumbly. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Next is the Nick Lingerie. This is Push Up. Absolutely love this. This is a really pretty, again, this is a little bit this is not as as moussey, but it's still a moussey formula. A little bit thinner than the suede. The liquid suede is a little bit thick mousse. This is a thinner mousse. This again is push up. Absolutely love this. Again, does not leave me feeling crackly, crumbly, too dry, like completely suck the life out of my lips. Love these. And last, well not lastly, but for NYX, is the Soft Matte Lip Cream. The smell of these. This is like Cupcake Central. This is in the shade Milan. These are in between the consistency and texture of the Liquid Suede, which is thick. Then this is a little bit thinner mousse, and this is the thinnest mousse. I absolutely love everything matte that NYX did. There is Milan right there. It actually would be, yes. Really pretty on top of that. Absolutely love NYX's matte, matte lipsticks. I mean, they kill it on all levels. Pigmentation, formula-wise, stay longevity. I mean, they last a long time on my lips, and again, they don't feel like I've sucked the moisture completely out of my lips. They're not cakey, they're not crumbly, they're not drying. Love them. Next is Meat Matte Hues. I have committed. This is a Ipsy sample that I got. I do not have a full size of this. Again, this is that uh, moussey texture from the balm. Um, this is like sweet mint. Love the smell of this. This again is committed. It's a little bit more peachy pink. A little bit more peachy, I'd say. Love the formula of this. This goes along with the liquid suede. Does not dry. Does not crumble off. Peel off. Flake off. Love this. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Statement Nude. Beautiful mauve color. The Dofa applicator is really unique on this one. It's like a diamond shape. 
This is also a kind of a moussey texture, not really. Um, here it is there. And as you can see, it does have a glossy appearance to it. The only thing with this is, although it does dry somewhat matte, more matte than just a regular lipstick, it will never fully dry down, which I kind of like because it doesn't just and stick and then crumble off. So I kind of like that it doesn't completely dry down. You know, because if I'm eating or something, I feel like even I can wear a matte liquid lipstick, but still feel confident enough whenever I get done eating, I can wipe it off and reapply. Um, the next ones I have are ColourPop. I have Trap and Tool. These are very, very thin. There is no mousse to this whatsoever. Here is Trap. And there is Tool beside of it. Burgundy and then kind of like a grayish mauve color. I love these for long wearing. The only thing with these is I will say that they will crumble and kind of flake off of me. But as far as long wearing, honey, yes. But after eight, nine hours, they do start to crumble and my lips get really dry after wearing these. Some people have said the new matte liquid lipstick formula that they came out with was a little bit better. This is the old formula. So I don't know, um, but I love the colors, love the longevity of them. It's just once they do decide that they're done staying on your lips, they do crumble and come off kind of patchy. So I don't know. That has to be up to you. Although I do, I do like them. Lip liners, I really don't, I'm not a lip liner person per se. I don't have many of them. Of the ones I do have, I will give you just some quick suggestions. ColourPop, when I got the, the Tootsie uh, Lippy Stick, I got the Tootsie Lippy Pencil. This formula is absolutely amazing, smooth, creamy, long-lasting. If I ever get lip liners again, it's probably going to be from here. NYX, this is just their regular NYX pencil liner that you have to sharpen. This is in Nude Beige. It's a little bit lighter than Tootsie, a little bit more brown. Um, love them. Creamy, long-lasting. NYX Retractable Lip Liner. This is in Nude something. Nude. These, this is a little bit more pinky than the other two. Again, smooth, creamy, long-lasting. Rimmel Exaggerate. I only have red in Rimmel Exaggerate, but these are really pretty liners. Um, smooth, creamy. How many times can I say smooth and creamy? But that's what they are. All of the, I mean, that's why I'm talking about them is because I like smooth, creamy stuff. Never mind that I said that. Um, that sounded terrible. This is Red Diva number 24. That's what I just showed you. We're just going to pretend like I didn't say that. Um, and then this is the Jordana Easy Liner in Pink Love. This is retractable, super cheap at the drugstore. Pink, pink down here on the end. Absolutely love these. Like I said, I'm not really a lip pencil, lip liner person, so I'm not gonna spend a whole too much time on it. But I just wanted to throw you some out there of what I enjoy. And again, same thing with lip glosses. I'm not a huge lip gloss fan, but of the few lip glosses that I have, I wanted to throw some out there to you. A couple days ago, I went to Ulta, saw this, and the only reason why I bought it is because its name is Brandy. Yes, and it's spelled right, B-R-A-N-D-I. That is my name, if you don't know. Um, and it's a really pretty color. And um, this is from Buxom. And this is very sheer, but it does have that cooling mint sensation. But it is such a pretty lip gloss. Love it. I have been wearing this the past, well, ever since I bought it, and I love it. Even though I'm not a lip gloss girl, I love it. It is not super sticky. 
and it's not full on color. I mean, there's color there, but it's not like <laughs> lip gloss. Um, Marvelous Moxie by Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Natural Beauty. This, again, I'm not a lip gloss girl, but this is very pretty. It goes along the same lines as Brandy. Actually looks almost identical. It's here. It might be a little bit more, more red. I don't know. They <laughs> almost look identical. So here's your dupe. The Marvelous Moxie, which really isn't a dupe because neither one of them is a drugstore brand. But if you can't find this one, go get this one. If you can't find this one, go get this one. Um, you got the Marvelous Moxie by Bare Minerals in Natural Beauty and the Buxom in Brandy. And the NYX Butter Gloss. Love these. This is a drugstore brand, of course. Not too sticky. This is in the shade Tiramisu. These are not too sticky. Smell divine. It's down here. Very pretty color. Decent wearing time for a gloss. I actually kind of like them. And the last one is the CoverGirl Lip Lava. This is in the shade. Look, it's lava. Yeah. I think this is just a cool lip gloss because like this would be the perfect lip gloss over that rabbit color from the new satin lip from ColourPop. I don't have the rabbit, but people have said it's like that pink with that blue shift. That's exactly what this lip lava is. It's the pink with the blue shift, and I think that would be a really pretty lip gloss over that. Absolutely love this lip gloss just for the color. Um, yeah. And it's really not too super sticky. Really good color payoff. Lip glosses don't last a whole long time anyway, so, you know, I don't really expect it to last like crazy, but, I mean, it's pretty. To stop blabbering, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not subscribed, leave some comments down in the bottom bar of some new series that you'd like to see, some new videos that you'd like to see, and what your favorite lipstick products are. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Binky Beauty. And if you like makeup, you like drugstore, with a little bit of high-end thrown in here or there, um, then you've come to the right place.